Hi, Data Analysts. This is Michael. My favorite tool for sharing reports is Data Studio, as it makes it very easy to pull in data from different sources, be it Google Analytics or Webmaster Tools, and create beautiful reports. It's built on Google Drive, so you know it's fantastic for collaboration and sharing. There are some great templates to get you started, so let's start with one, and I'll suggest one or two improvements. So here we go. Let's pick one of the templates. We'll wait for that to load. Now, this is a great dashboard. It has a ton of data from the sample Google Analytics account. Now, one of the jobs of analysts is to provide context around dashboards and reports. Let's say we launched a new home page. That is a key piece of information, and I'd like to know how it relates to the metrics. So let's see how we can add this to this report. First, I'll copy the report. I'll choose the same data sources. OK, now that I've copied the report, it belongs to me, and it means that I can modify it. Now let's say you have a simple Google Sheet that your team keeps up to date with important events relating to your website such as home page or launch campaign. So this is it, just very simple two column uh, Google Sheet with date and annotation. Now, how do you get that data into Data Studio and display it on a Google Analytics report? Well, you can't do this with the built-in charts, but luckily you can build your own visualization that you can use and share with other people. That's what I've done. So first, delete the user's report and we'll add our own custom chart. So here's how you do this. You click on Community Visualization and paste in the ID of the viz. I'll post a link in the description if you want to give this a try yourself. Now here it is. I'll modify the report a little bit so that it looks similar to what we had before. So this is sessions and I think we had users. Here you go. And then I changed the line style as well to be blue. There you go. All right, well, looks pretty much the same. So how do you get these annotations in from the Google Sheet? Well, actually, you use data blending. You just click on Blend Data. Now, when you do this, it'll pull up the, uh, the Google Analytics data source that we had. And we need our other data source that has the Google Sheet with the annotations. So I'm going to find that here. Add it to the report. Now we need to um, choose a join key. So in this case, it's date. Drag that over there. And it automatically filled it in uh, for the sheet. The other thing that we want is users as before. And you can use, you know, any other metrics and dimensions. Um, but for this demo, we'll just use the users. And we need the annotation over here from the, from the Google Sheet. So this is it. So let's save. And I close this. So now we need to actually update our chart to use, um, because it uses a new data source, We'll, um, we'll pick the dimensions again. So it was annotation, date, and users. So with a little bit of luck, we'll get our annotations. And yay, here they are. Um, I'll quickly change the style. Also use that blue. I'll change the radius a little bit. That's it. 
update. So let's view this now. Launch campaign, home page. Great. So this is a, this is a quick way for you to add um, context and annotations uh, to your chart. So to drive home the usefulness of this, let's change the date range a bit. Well, I choose July 1st here. Whoa, look at this big spike in July. What happened on that day? Man, I can't remember. If only I'd made a note of that. Okay, I'll cheat a bit and I assume that I do remember. So let's go back to the sheet and backfill the data. So I'm just going to add a line above here. So November 2019. Viral. data, video, and we'll go back to uh, to the Data Studio report. And now with a little bit of luck, we'll just refresh this. And we have annotation. So the, uh, the display is screwed up a little bit, so but we can fix that. So I'm going to change the style. And then X and Y offsets are used to position the overlay. In this case, it's minus. Go back here, change the date. Hit apply. Uh, much better. So that's pretty much it. Um, very easy and quick way to add a little bit of context to your uh, Data Studio reports. Um, as I said, if you want to try this out, I'll provide some links in the description below. Thanks for watching.